Hair. Eh. What's up, guys? Leopold the Brave here. I just got out of the shower. That's why my hair is weird. Eek, and it's stuck under my headphones. <laughs> um, but anyways, we're here to watch the Sora and Pit death battle. Um, if you've seen my predictions before, I believe Sora is going to win because, I mean, Pit has island to country level strength and faster than or massively faster than light feats. Sora has star to solar system or uh, multi solar system level feats and massively faster than light plus speed stats. So Sora definitely has the advantage in the physical category. Plus he has tons of magical counters to all of Pit's abilities and weapons and such. So um, I do think Sora's going to win. That's basically the rundown. There's a lot more in detail, but yeah. Um, Death Battle tends to miss the more obscure stuff. So I understand if they only make like Sora building level or something because that seems to be the biggest lowball for Sora because all they look at is, um, are at visual feats. Like when Sora slices the buildings in Kingdom Hearts 2. So, we're going to see if they bring that up. And if they think that's Sora's best thing. He has a lot more. Um, but anyways, we're going to get started now because this thing is long. And I don't want to waste too much time. 3, 2, 1, go. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by... World and we open up on an ad. The tactical 6v6 multiplayer game for iOS, Android, and Fire OS. The game's like if Wiz's love for science and my love for weapons had a baby. Wrapped in rich... Pew, pew, pew! My favorite... Robot game. gun game. Pew, pew! See if you can take us down. Install War Robots now and get a huge starter pack of the Leo Robot, one king weapon, three mobile yep. weapons, 100 gold. Oh, speaking of ads, um, last time in my Crash vs. Spyro reaction, the Blue Apron ad had, um, copyrighted music, so I had to go back, mute the video, and then re-upload it. So, that might happen again if they have the same thing, so just be prepared for a large section of the episode to be muted. Anyways, let's get back to watching. Ow. Everybody does it anyway. Like Sora, the keyblade wielding savior of Kingdom Hearts. And Pit, the angel warrior Pit. Kid Icarus. He's with Arm Pit. Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh yeah, Pit's gonna share the same voice as Justin Briner, the voice of Deku, but I don't know if I'll be able to tell unless Pit cries three times in the fight. We'll see. <laughs> it's a joke. Ah uh, yes, this is in the preview that I already saw. They are basically Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke. I made that joke. Yes. But it wasn't long until a soulless embodiment of evil would invade the island. This was the Heartless. But the arrival of these creepy crawlers wasn't the mm -hmm. only surprise. Alongside the darkness came light in the form of a keyblade, which is the key to fixing everything. This is such happy music. This keyblade in particular was known as the Kingdom Key, and was drawn to Sora thanks to his pure heart. With the Kingdom Key, Sora had the means to combat the Heartless. <laughs> By unlocking doors? Well, mm -hmm. yes, the Keyblade can get past almost any lock out there. But despite not having a... <laughs> not really. Do you know how many locked doors there are in Kingdom Hearts that you can't get through until you do certain things? And it's also a wand. Sora can use it to cast all sorts of magic spells like a wizard. He can even shoot a laser beam Pew. off the way to the moon. Unfortunately, despite his newfound weapon, the Heartless were overwhelming. The mm. darkness washed over Destiny Island, and just like that, it was gone. Gone, 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 gone. I like little edits like that, just yep, little tiny touches. It's fun. Place on Earth. Disney. Disney World! Don't worry, you are not hallucinating. Somehow, <laughs> some way, this impossibility exists. Turns out, while Goofy and Donald have been lovable cartoons for decades, they're also world hopping warriors. Oh my <laughs> god, this is the best thing ever! From then on, Sora teamed up with his new friends to lock the doors to the hearts of worlds. Too bad it's Disney, Disney only. I'd love to see like a new Kingdom Hearts saga but with different animated universes. Sora may not have been strong enough to I want Kung Fu Panda to be in Kingdom Hearts so bad. You don't even know. <laughs> Shooting fireballs, freezing baddies with blizzards. Yep, and here's the stuff that was outside of the preview, so this is all new stuff. But I know tons about Sora anyway, so I'm not really missing much. He's got a bunch of other magic attacks, but my favorite is Ragnarok, which fires a bunch of homing energy beams. Mm -hmm. And I guess the thing I keep forgetting to use in combat. <laughs> 
insist we talk about it. Thanks to the Kingdom Key Sword, he can use spells which remove negative effects, including curing his own wounds. He can also glide like Peter Pan and teleport like Figment. Eh, I still don't know if we should call it a sword, but Sora can make it even better with keychains. They can even transform the whole Keyblade into more powerful versions. Some of them look so cool. Has names like Oathkeeper. With all these abilities, <laughs> Oathkeeper. The fight to the man who Why didn't you focus on the edgy Xanort. one, Oblivion? He's been defeated, Xanort's heartless and his nobody. Oh, that's kind of harsh, Wiz. Why are you calling him a nobody? <laughs> Why is he calling him Xanort? A nobody is a somebody. Xanort. Xanort. Though they may have been a somebody filled with anger, like Scar from The Lion King. Well, I'm a somebody that's really, really confused. But to save all worlds, Sora found he had to be insanely strong, fast, mm -hmm. and tough. He's speedy enough to run up a building, and quick enough to dodge magic lightning. Not just magic lightning, real legitimate lightning from the sky. A feat which oh, can take mere milliseconds. Sora put all that speed to good use once. By yes, the laser feet. Oh, so good. Near every angle in just a few seconds. So it's safe to say he's no slouch. As for his strength, not only has oh, he cut through there it is. structures with ease, he's launched them as projectiles. Though gravity is in mm -hmm. flux here, a building this size normally weighs around 100,000 pounds. He's held back two of Cerberus's heads and went toe to toe with Hercules. You know, the demigod who threw a Hercules stated he wasn't holding back against Sora too. Note that. By treating him as a series of cones made of granite, we can estimate his weight as over 1,600 tons. <clears throat> That's like throwing 200 T-Rexes into the sky. <laughs> yeah, What's with these analogies? 200 T-Rexes. Take a hit from him. No problem. Honestly, Sora's ability to take a hit might be one of his strongest characteristics. He survived the jaws Especially if you suck at using guard. Or dodge roll. By a musket and, hell, the fires of Hades. But he isn't without his downfalls. While he's strong in his own right, he relies a lot on his brain. Sora beat the funnier Hades. I'm going to get killed for that one. He's fairly limited on his own. No big deal, though. Luckily for Sora, most locks only need one key. Uh-huh. I'm not sure if that was profound or just stupid. You're stupid. The be weak. And sometimes it may even give in. Give in. Uh, what's the quote? But I've learned. Oh, I can just read the subtitles. That's cheating. That never goes out. I had that memorized at one point. I had his whole speech there memorized. To the distant past, to an age long ago, when gods and man lived together. Speaking of Hercules. How long ago was this? They just used Hercules backgrounds right there. Anyway, the Kingdom of Angel Land was... Anyways, here's parts of Pit's preview, which I already saw, so I'm not gonna miss much for a while <laughs> by talking. Who pretty much treated everyone like crap by turning mm -hmm. people into statues and destroying their crops. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love it. Please use more Avatar characters. Speaking of which, shameless plug again. I used an Avatar character in my fight show. Go check out Scorpion vs. Zuko on my channel. Uh, Zuko from Avatar, Scorpion vs. Mortal Kombat. So, there you go. Go check it out. Throw in shade. Who summoned the greatest hero Angel Land has ever known. Hit! My arrows will stop Maximus. No, no, no. Definitely not that one. This one. Uh, hang on. Greatest hero ever? More like his mom needs to drop him off at elementary school. Mm-hmm. Don't let looks fool you. Pitt may seem young, but he is the captain of the Icarus army. Keepers of the peace and personal guards to Lady Palutina herself. That's a sad looking army, to be honest. They all look like a bunch of man children. Well, at least he can fly with those wings. Alright, that's pretty I like Pitt. Actually, he can't. What? Look, he's flying right there. Well, Pitt may have superhuman abilities, but yeah. he can't actually fly... This is one of Pitt's biggest downfalls. He requires so much from Palutena. So if she's not included in the fight, then... There he goes. He loses, like, half his arsenal. They burst into flame, sending Pitt careening to a horrible end. Holy shit. So the captain of an angel army doesn't have his own working angel wings. That's what you're telling me? Yeah, it's a little strange, but don't try to bring mm -hmm. it up. He's a bit touchy on the subject. <laughs> anyway, Pitt managed to defeat Medusa, and everyone lived happily ever after. 
Just kidding, Medusa came back 25 years later. Looking oh, my nose is really itchy on the inside, but I don't want to pick it on video. Eh. Just a second. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, I feel so much better. Alright, this is the part where the preview is about to end, so here's the new stuff. He's well known for his archery skills and shows it off with his trusty The Palutena bow. The Palutena bow. This bow uses awesome laser arrows that can actually be guided by Pit. And if his enemies get close, Pit can That Link can dodge in Smash Bros only though. Deadly slices. Now that's a practical weapon. He is highly skilled with several classes of weapons. His arsenal has been imbued with the strength and power of the gods, making humans incapable of wielding them. These range from orbitars, like floaty shoulder cannons that can also mm -hmm. block attacks, to blades, cannons, claws, hammers, staves, clubs, and weaponized tattoos. Ah, oh, I wish my tattoo was a weapon. Uh, anyway... Boomstick has a tattoo? Forged by Mentos. Wait, does he? I can't remember what his design looks like. Well, the details, anyways. <laughs> I'll have to look at it again. Hidden away in three sealed caskets. The sacred treasures consist of Angel Land's mightiest weapons, which can only be used by the most heroic and worthy of heroes. The mirror shield reflects projectiles. The and somehow a pit feels a uh, pit fills that bill. And, and the arrow of light is the ultimate weapon. Whatever fills your bill. Whatever bills your the fill. Of light is absolutely the deadliest weapon in Pit's arsenal and increases in power based on Pit's own health and strength. And when all three treasures come together, Pitt is granted the legendary silver armor. Yeah. Uh, you uh, tapping into mustache booze, Wiz? It looks <laughs> cool. Silver. It's gold. Well, colors are different in heaven, I guess. <laughs> Pitt's learned several abilities throughout his adventures, like healing, dropping mines, and making his arrows invisible. And all of his skills came in handy. Not only did he defeat Medusa, but he's taken on alien pirates, a space kraken, and the god of death, Thanatos. At one point, <laughs> he looks like a dork. A village, he launched a large boulder which Pit obliterated so thoroughly it was completely pulverized in midair. Into dust. How are those Trojan horse Star Wars walkie thingies not tipping over? Focus, Boomstick. Pulverization <laughs> is defined as reducing an object to dust, which certainly applies here. To determine the force necessary to do so, we first need the size of that boulder. For that, we'll compare the boulder to those pillars. Oh, uh, here comes the math! Stretch <laughs> your pocket protectors, nerds! Thanatos and the real-life references! ...appears to be about 11 feet 6 inches tall. By comparing his height to the pillars, we've determined them to be 18 feet tall. By comparing that to the boulder, it's clear it has a diameter of 115 inches. To pulverize a stone this large, Pit Strike must have outputted energy equal to nearly 1,600 pounds of TNT. Damn, little angel kid can dish it out. 1,600 pounds, not 1,600 tons. React and fly from the top of these clouds. So no, Sora and Pit are not equal by the death battle standards. Despite looking like Sora already has the strength advantage here. It's a space station orbiting the Earth at a similar altitude to the international. Gotta pay attention to those details. The distance from the ISS to the highest cloud layers is about 242 miles. Meaning, Pitt must have flown around 21,600 miles per hour. That's Mach 28! Suck it, Starman! Not only that, <laughs> Pitt dodged a laser which covered this distance in a fraction of a second. Most likely moving a little over 90 million miles per hour. Oh my god, that not moon thing really is the Death Star. With Pitt's superhuman durability, he's tanked hits from gods and taken falls that would turn any normal man into an angel? Well, mm -hmm. the dead man, yes. In his final Yeah, by the way, Hades, by the way people, pay attention to when people talk about deities because deities means different things in different verses. Given Pitt's weight. Like the Mortal Kombat deities are way weaker than the Dragon Ball Z deities. And he was fine. So simply having that title it kind of depends in when it comes to fictional stuff. Is nearly 30 tons of, TNT. of course, while Pit may be formidable, he's not perfect. He has been tricked into losing fights multiple My god is the strongest though, so take that. <laughs> his godly allies. But this kick-ass angel isn't afraid to charge headfirst into a fight, even with his wings on fire. In the name of the goddess Palutena, defender of all that good. Ah, the 3DS sound quality. <laughs> All right, the combatants are set. All right, here comes the blue apron ad. Let's see if it's copyrighted or not. Talk about slicing vegetables is 
I'm gonna mute it in the first edit just to make sure. Here we go! Alright. By death battle standards, I do think Sora's still winning. <laughs> because of the speed and power. And again, all of Sora's magic. Deku's! Let's see if he cries eight times. <laughs> More jokes. He does sound like Pit, though, so good voice actor. Both of them. That Goofy was a little funny, though. That Goofy sounds strangely like Nervous Nick. Gorsh. Reflect! <laughs> I love that face in the preview. I should make that an emote on Discord. Just eating that, um, upper dash arm. <laughs> Trying to remember the name for a second there. Boy, he's just bouncing off platforms. Guard! Use guard! Reflect him! <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Not guard, but still good. Yep. Ragnarok! The thing I never use. <laughs> But somehow I die rarely in Kingdom Hearts. My Kingdom Hearts skill is based on dumb luck, to be honest. Ooh, that looked nasty. Thank goodness that wasn't the killing blow, though. That would have been anticlimactic. Yeah! There it is! Zawardo! And there he goes. Here he comes. There it is. The the speed of light moonbeam. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. There it is. Oh, get it right. Get it right. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Splat! You! <laughs> Good work, Sora! You killed a kid! Yup. Pit may have dodged a laser moving 90 million miles per hour. But Sora's reaction speed was quick enough to dodge natural lightning. A lightning bolt's return stroke, which constitutes the bright flash, moves at around 220 million miles per hour, over twice mm. as fast as Pit. 
That combined with his teleporting and time manipulation powers meant Sora was just too quick for Pit to land very yep. big hits. Plus, when Sora shot that Keyblade beam to the moon, it took one second flat. That's 1.28 times the speed of light. Much faster than anything Pit's reacted to before. Of course, Pit did have enough weapons to keep Sora busy. Sorry I'm not talking during the results, I kinda knew all this. multiple counters for pretty much anything Pit threw at him. Hence why I've never done Sora vs. Pit in my own series, because I already know the fight, and that it's a stomp in Sora's favor. But this building was completely made of stone from top to bottom, and Sora cut through seven at once! These buildings may have been composed of a modest stone like granite, which has a minimum shearing strength of 14 megapascals. In comparison to Sora's height, each building was about 23 feet tall. Mm -hmm. By measuring Sora's largest slash, and the distance cut through all seven buildings... And all the buildings are solid rock too. Like those windows are just on the outside. If you look at the broken parts, they're still stone. That's way more than Pit's boulder pulverizing feet. No wonder this guy beat Herc. Speaking of which, let's compare some of the strongest beings Sora and Pit have taken hits from. The amount of energy needed for Hercules to throw that rock titan into space had to have been around Shoo. 4 megatons of TNT, whereas Hades strikes were equivalent to only 30 tons at best. So Pit had never survived anything close to Sora's strongest attacks. Just by numbers alone, Sora's strength, speed, and durability mm -hmm. just outclassed Pit. And the Keyblade by itself had a way more impressive track record than any of Pit's weapons. You might say it was the key to this fight. And when we pit them together, one of them was bound to be a Oof. Sora loser. So many puns. Is Sora. But yeah, Sora! Woo! That was a good episode. They pretty much did the standard versus debates of Sora and Pit. Uh, um, but anyways, let's see who's next. Uh, please don't be copyrighted music. La 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 la. Is that Frank? Leon! Leon, okay, cool. Leon versus Frank. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, just had to make sure I made enough noise over the copyrighted music so I didn't get um, attacked by YouTube. <laughs> um, but anyways, I like the episode a lot. Uh, I don't think I'll do previews or anything on next time because I don't know Leon or Frank that well. Uh, but we'll see. I'll definitely react to the episode, even if I don't react to the previews. Um, but Leopold the Brave, out.